All right, here we are. It's time to do a car review video, and I figured the best way to start off 2024 is to review some Mercedes. Today, first we're looking at the Mercedes AMG GT3 from 2020. Uh, mine here in the game at 780 horsepower. So let's see how this car uh, takes on the track. So I've pulled up here with a special delivery port as well. I want to kind of throw back to the first championship in GT7 Racing Champions. And, uh, oh God, I was looking at my livery. Um, so I kind of wanted to throw it back to that, kind of go back to the special championship livery where we ran the gold one with this car. Uh, this is basically the first car I ran in that series. This and my Toyota Supra are the main two cars in that that we race but uh just the way this car handles the track and and drives uh is brilliant i mean i i love racing this car it's so quick uh the mercedes cars to race in in grand Turismo has kind of been my thing uh we drove i think it may just be the older version of this in grand Turismo 7 or grand Turismo sport so it's a very, very dominant car, though, when you race it. It's very quick. Uh, it does lack a little bit in the corners. It doesn't necessarily want to turn. But if you can get it to turn, you get it hooked up right, this thing will absolutely fly around the track. It's definitely a, a race car. It wants to go. It wants to cook. And, uh, yeah, once you get it out on the track... It's a tough car to beat. Overall, though, just the brakes on it are brilliant, too, for the corners. You can really try to push it late, and this car will stop for you. So it it just seems to have it all. Like, I don't have a complaint about this car. If you get it going, you get it rolling, this thing will go. You will win some races. Like, this is, in the GR3 class, like probably, again, top two for me. Definitely a big fan of it. Every season, if you guys watch Racing Champions, we always pull up with a new special livery for it. Like, this thing is just, just awesome. I mean, it looks great. The Mercedes AMG GT is, is a brilliant car. Um, and, you know, to really be the evolution of the, uh, the SLS, which was brilliant before it, like, it's it's very very cool. See, honestly, one of my favorite cars. I like when people talk about their you know which car they buy or their dream car or whatever. This is definitely for me towards the top of that list. The Mercedes AMG GT. Like, of course, is the race car version. We're actually going to take a look at the regular version of it and really kind of dive into that right now so here we do have it the mercedes amg gt black series and oh boy is this car a fun one to drive black series amgs are always awesome and this one does not disappoint got a special livery on it kind of based on the mercedes formula one livery actually a livery that they did put on the real AMG Black Series cars, because I think that if you ordered an AMG uh, 1, which unfortunately isn't in this game, because I believe it's exclusively to Forza, um, which is unfortunate to have such a good car stuck in a lesser quality game. But either way, um, this livery I believe was on the car for the people that had got the AMG one you could then buy this one as well or something like that so special livery connection to the F1 cars so I think this car is fantastic to drive it's you know a road car but it feels like a race car like this feels like you're gonna absolutely be flying here we go down the straight here we're going to hit 200 and 
seven miles an hour force and applying the brakes. This thing absolutely flies, and I'm sure we get to Daytona at the end of the episode to test it out. This thing will put in a very, very quick lap time. Missed the corner a little bit there. Um, but we are still flying through this track. And this car is just absolutely cooking. I mean, look at this go. Thing just stops when you want it to, turns when you want it to, accelerates when you want it to. It does literally everything. It is absolutely brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Can we get it to drift? That's not the drift button in this game. That's the button. God, every game's different. Holy hell. I was like, all right, we're going to drift this corner. Nope, I changed my camera angle. All right. This thing, this thing wants to drift. Like, I can tell it wants to. It's going to want to slide here. I oversent it. I'm shit at drifting. I'm shit at drifting. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Nope, I recorrected it too early. And now I've spun it. Now I've just spun it out. There's an art to drifting that I just. I just don't understand. There's a lot of things with driving and racing that I get, but trying to make a car drift is not one of them. That one felt decent, but it was still kind of shit. And that's a wall. All right, let's move on to our next car, I guess. Here we are at the Nurburgring Grand Prix layout with the SLS AMG. GT3 from 2011. So we're going, taking a step back here into the older cars. Of course, we raced the AMG GT GR3 or GT3, whatever, from 2020. So let's take a step back to 2011. Now, the SLS is, for me, one of the top, top cars. I love this car so I actually haven't ever raced this though in Gran Turismo so I'm kind of excited to see how it drives so we do have it on hard tires because I've really never driven it so it's going to make it kind of a challenge but this car is just so cool so much power the front of it is just so long for no reason it's brilliant the rear wing on this thing is just ridiculous. And the gold wing doors, absolutely beautiful. I love the gold wing doors. I think that they're absolutely fantastic. But I'm also glad they kept them only to the SLS and didn't move that to the GT. Keep it unique to the SLS. Now, it looks like the doors on this actually kind of like have a little roof on them. Don't actually open gold wing, which would make sense racing-wise, or maybe they are gold wings. I don't know. Can't tell. I'd be surprised they put gold wing doors on a race car, though. So this thing on the track, it, again, not on soft tires. Uh, but you can tell it just doesn't have that same... Same performance as the, um, the other one, but the GT3, like the newer one. But this thing really, it does perform well still. So I'm excited to see how this performs on the track. I'll get it on the proper tires. And uh, when we get to Daytona, do our track testing. That one's going to be... Gonna be fun. Oh, we missed that corner a little bit. This thing wants to slide. Hello? Okay. The SLS wants to drift. It wants to go. Let's 
send it down to the corner, miss that corner entirely. Damn, this card definitely wants to step out. I'll spin it around then. All right, let's get to Daytona. Start putting some times on the board. Here we are at Daytona at the Daytona Road Course, and here are the cars that we've tested so far in videos. Besides the Toyota GR Super Racing Concept, which is its own practice lap, but still we'll count here on our lap board. Uh, the Lexus LFA was the fastest that we tested uh, with a 148, by the Porsche on 11, 149.6. Also the Corvette C8 and the BRZ. So I put the Porsche on 11 and the BRZ off camera on the track to put their times on the board. But now it's time to put the cars we had to tested today on the board. So let's start with the SLS AMG GT3 from 2011. I've got soft tires set on it now. And let's see what we can do. Daytona's kind of became the testing track for it. It kind of worked that I did the LFA and the Corvette here, and I was like, why don't we just make this part of the series, the track time? See what's the fastest, right? Like, why not? I'm not expecting this to beat any of those other cars. Um, probably the BRZ, but all the other ones have been modified for racing for videos. So this one hasn't been. It's the only thing I've changed to this car is the tires from the last bit where we were at the Nürburgring to coming here. That's all I've done. So I don't think we're going to see a massive improvement in our time on the board. Uh, but I do think this will be faster than the BRZ. I just think that that's not... That's purely just a road car. This is meant for racing. Let's see what we can do here. So after this, we'll do the uh, Black Series, and then we'll do the proper race car of the series. A little early on the brakes, but I think that, that helps us throughout the rest of the chicane. Again, 143, I believe, is the time to beat, set by the Supra. See if we can beat that here. This thing is quick, it's moving. I don't think it's gonna beat the Supra, but it will definitely beat some of the other cars on the board. 144. 0.377. Where does that go on our board? It's actually fastest. What? That thing's faster than the Supra racing concept? What? That's our fastest car. Oh my god. Wow. All right. Well, up next is the AMG GT Black Series, which has way more speed than that car. So, let's see what this thing can do. I thought that Supra was not going to get beat. Especially by that car. Hello? This is absolutely going to crush the board. Oh my god. This thing's cooking right now. 228. Oh no. Oh no. Somebody needs to learn to brake earlier. Because this car is going 220 miles an hour. And I'm used to cars going like 200, so... Also, this thing's a road car, so... <laughs> Brake. Start braking here. Start braking here. 
Lovely. This thing with the upgrades that I've added to it made it just a monster. This thing's going to be an absolute problem on the lap board. I don't think anything's going to beat it. If this thing gets a solid lap in... Again, the other one, I will keep the score from missing, or I'll restart from missing the braking zone. But everything else, whatever the lap is, is the lap. So going on the grass is just part of it, I guess. They're the infield section. Onto the banking, 53 seconds it took to get through that part. We get on the banking, get to that back chicane. That's where it's going to get interesting. We're going to have to break way earlier than normal. Right now. Start breaking. To make the chicane. Alright, back onto the banking out. 120. 121 when we hit the sector. I think we were at 123 with the SLS. This thing is absolutely going to set a new record around the track. 138.6. That is the new fastest. By a lot. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at the ranking boards here. <sighs> that thing's just insane. It weighs less than the SLS and has so much more horsepower. Wow. Here we go. This is the race car. This one, I'm expecting to be equal to the Supra. I race both of them, again, the most of any cars in this game. You guys watch the channel. This and that Supra are the two that you see the most in videos. So, I'm expecting this to put in a competitive time towards that. I don't think it's going to be the Black Series, just because that thing's going 220 into the corner we're going to probably maybe hit 200 here probably not 192 before we start breaking so yeah that thing's gonna be all right that thing's gonna be hard to beat that's gonna be a real hard lap time to beat for any car I have no idea what can come up here. Beat that time. It's going to be something else that's a similar weight, and we can put it a similar power. But a lot of these that are set for racing, there's a lot of the regulations to it that kind of put them in a spot where they're kind of limited to um, how powerful they can be. Um, what they can do and they all kind of got to fit into a box so it's the cars that you can put outside of the box that are gonna set the lap times like that so again it was 51 seconds to get through the infield section for the black series when we hit the sector we're gonna hit 51 right now so we're not that far off from the black series if you think of it we're only about a second behind it so this car could put up a really really good lap time as well that was a little bit of a cut of the chicane i will admit there but so just a little bit off from the time that the Black Series put up, but this is not going to be the fastest lap. And again, we're going to lose time to the Black Series on the straight here, because that thing's going to be hitting 
again, over 200 miles an hour when it crossed the line. This thing will not be. It will set the second fastest time though, the 141.143. Which is better than every other car on the sheet. So, looking at the ranking board here, uh, it does beat out the Super by a decent amount, actually. I thought it was going to be a little closer to that. The SLS AMG GT3. Uh, that went a little bit faster than the Supra, honestly, which is surprising. But I have one more surprise in this video. And that's the SLR McLaren. The Mercedes McLaren SLR is an all-time iconic supercar. One of the best from the 2000s. This thing is brilliant. Now, I don't have any modifications to it. We're on street hard tires. So I don't expect this thing to really cook the lap times. But... Oh my god, it doesn't want to break. It doesn't want to break. It doesn't want to break. Going into there, it was at a similar speed as the uh, last car we drove. But it doesn't have the brakes. And it's on street hard tires. So... We just gotta know it's not going to, uh, let's say, break as well, or slow down as nicely. There was a lot of brake that was required there, and we're still sliding. This interior looks very, uh, early 2000s. God, this car is not driving the best. It's all over the road, but... Whoa! This thing is uncontrollable. I love that air brake though this thing has. That is awesome. Then it pops up a little bit just to give you a little bit of drag down the street. Very, very good. Now again, this chicane start braking about now because this thing needs a lot of room to slow down. We're already at 136. So we've already passed the time that some of the other cars set. Um, this thing will surely be the second slowest car. But I had fun doing it. <laughs> yes, 149.731. All right, let's see. Not a brilliant lap time. But again, it was on street hard tires, so we'll give it that. But, yeah. Pretty much dominant, um run for the Mercedes cars there at the top. But if we want to break it down, uh, you can go by categories, so. 
pretty much these are the cars that are relatively equal in PP that they have. Um, so these are the seven that really count. Again, these two are solid, but they're not uh, not the same category. They're they're both significantly slower. So again, we'll see. Maybe we'll have something eventually that does beat that Mercedes. But for now, the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series from 2020 is the fastest car we've ever sent around the Daytona road course. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.